I think what really makes us unique is the wide range of different hands-on and experiential opportunities that we're able to offer. The mentorship and the extent to which our faculty mentors undergraduate students and graduate students, offering them these very rich research opportunities, I think is very special. Our students focus on um, various studies of human skeletons in order to, to learn about ancient lives in the past. They have the opportunities then to carry out their own research that they design. Mine people like to file and modify their anterior, like front teeth, upper front teeth. But um, we, we're just trying to find out like why they're modifying these and what are the regional differences and similarities. I went to Belize over the summer um, um, on a field school through MSU. Um, myself and 19 other of my peers um, we stayed there for five weeks and we worked at archaeology sites in central Belize. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. We have a strong curator or curatorial program jointly with the MSU Museum and that's been ongoing now for uh, approximately four or five decades. This is the center of a conch shell. Like the other mm -hmm. gorget. It took off the outside, then that might have been used for other purposes. Right. This is a pin. Undergraduates have various opportunities to learn museum techniques and participate directly in many cases in both research and active curation of collections. This archaeology program is unique because it goes beyond state and federal law. So if they put in a new bush, they call us. If they put in a new tree, if they put in a sidewalk or replace a sidewalk, um, anything from that all the way to a new building, um, we are there. We show them how to do shovel tests. Um, we show them how to do full excavations. They get to do lab work. How to supervise crews how to work with construction people who are always in a hurry and you're always in their way. So they have so many opportunities for hands-on to get the real experience of archaeology rather than just textbooks. It is not uncommon for our undergraduates to co-author professional, peer-reviewed articles with our faculty. This is largely supported by the university's program called PURI, or the Provost's Undergraduate Research Initiative. incredibly vital in this type of class to have them learn by doing. So I, I obviously have them read about different ethnographic um, research methods and more importantly I have them propose a research project where they get to apply certain ethnographic fieldwork field work research methods. I've had projects uh, looking at gender relations and fraternities, um, looking at the refugee communities living in Lansing, uh, looking at various religious organizations, spiritual healing communities. I've chose to focus on a um, campus-oriented Christian group um, called Campus Crusade. It was a great experience. it's becoming increasingly important for students to be able to leave a graduate program, to know how to develop an online course, um, to how to teach an online course. We also offer an important and innovative learning experience in online teaching. It prepares them for the professional world because when they get out in, uh, you know, after they're done, uh, oftentimes they, they might actually be teaching online. So getting that experience beforehand um, uh, gives them a sort of a competitive edge uh, when they go out in the, in the job market. I think it's a great opportunity for grad students to get some experience that will serve them in their future careers. I really just wanted to show you a couple of positive identification cases. I think that MSU is unique or certainly special because of the forensic anthropology case opportunities that our program provides our students. The last two years have been in, in, incredibly busy 
Uh, we've consulted on 140 cases for law enforcement agencies, medical examiner offices, state police, the FBI, and local law enforcement agencies across the state of Michigan. If we get a call that there's a forensic case where we either need to go to the morgue or perhaps help with the local police department for a search for an individual or even a recovery of skeletal remains, we just grab our stuff and go. These are amazing students. We have remarkable students in this program, and the contributions that those students make to the research is, I think, phenomenal as an educator, and that's very meaningful to me. This focus on hands-on learning goes back to the early days of the university in 1855. They had a vision about what education should be like. Our administration has sort of um, renewed their commitment to that and so it, it continues on today. Mm -hmm.